Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Los Angeles Lakers as they go up against the Sacramento Kings. Looking at the Kings, this is a team they played pretty well against last season, going 3-1. They'll look to keep that edge tonight. After fighting so many battles to keep the Kings in Sacramento, they are set to open up a new arena for the start of next season. Shaq, uh, you've been involved with the Kings. Um, how big was this for the city? Well, it firmly establishes the Kings in Sacramento for years to come. Excuse me, Sacramento. Uh, the design is great. It's going to be the first drop-top arena, indoor-outdoor arena. It's going to be fabulous. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I mean, it's going to be great. I mean, unfortunately, the house that Kenny built is going down, you know, but uh, it's a new state-of-the-art arena downtown, so uh, I've actually seen the construction of it. I kind of I talked to Kevin Johnson, the mayor, about it. So this is going to be a great, great uh, rejuvenation for Sacramento. One of the more excuse me, Sacramento. Sacramento. One of the more self-serving segments we've ever done. <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in. sidelines, Doris Burke. Battle in the Western Conference, the Sacramento crowd hoping to watch their Kings come out on top. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Lakers team. Last season, they had the upper hand in the series, going 3-1 against these guys. And, and they won the season series against this club last year, but, you know, then again, so did a lot of other teams. Hey, Greg, um, we got to be honest here, which is really the only way I roll. Neither of these teams are world beaters. I mean, but you've got to start somewhere. A win tonight would be a step in the right direction. And now the Lakers starting group. They've got Howard. Anthony Davis is out there with LeBron James. That's Rajon Rondo. And it's Bryant in at the two-guard position. You look at what Anthony Davis has accomplished so far in his career. The historic comparisons. I mean, they're, they're mind-boggling. For a kid 23, Greg, the historic comparisons are very favorable for him. Uh, I mean, he's been compared to a, a young KG and, and Duncan quite often. But in this first few seasons, his numbers look the most similar to Hakeem the Dream. And that's about as good a, a company as you can get. First quarter of play, one minute played. Fox against Rumble. The drive by game. Davis with some nice D. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Here is Boomer following the basket by LeBron James. Game with it, picked up by Kobe. In the corner, it's McLemore from deep. Here's Boomer. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Boomer's got his first bucket in this one. For Los Angeles, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. James, the pass to Rondo. James sets the screen for Rondo. Back to LeBron, to the middle, stolen by Gay. And now the Kings, fast break. Gay with the ball. one rolling around and wins out. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. 
Rondo dishes to Howard. Lock at six. He kicks it to Davis. The jump hook. Gay with the defensive effort. They really depend on him to convert those chances. A lot of times, even with solid D draped on him, they expect him to make it. Cousins with a screen on Cody. Here's Fox. And it's sent back by Bryant. And here's a fast break. Davis leading the way. And stolen by Cousins. Game with it. Working on Howard. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. That one on Davis. Oh, quick hands on the steal and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. And, and guys, you, you see how Rudy Gay just exploded last season in the second half. I mean, I, I think he felt at ease in George Carl's system. And, and I think that's one reason why you're starting to see just how good Rudy Gay can be. The drive by James and the rejection by Cousins. Outside Bryant. And it comes off the front of the rim. For a long time, critics have gotten on Gay for his lack of efficiency, but he quieted some of those voices Clark last year with his play and steps. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, across the board, he made nice improvements, not only in his scoring, but also his ability to create shots for others. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Fox kicks to Gay. There's a good screen. Pass to McLemore. Screen by Cousins. Fox. It's good from long range. Fox has got his first three points of the game. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. And it's time for an injury report. Well, guys, the Kings head athletic trainer gave me an update. He told me that it doesn't look too serious. That's a bitter pill for them to swallow at such an early stage of the season. It really changes the look of this entire team, guys. Thank you, Norris. Boy, you always hate to see anyone ever deal with any sort of injury. And almost for every player, it's inevitable. I mean, injuries are going to happen no matter how well you take care of yourself. And let's just hope the rehab process doesn't drag on any longer than it has to. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, and I, I think we're going to see them operating a lot of their offense from the interior today. Now here's Rondo. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Here's Davis. Cannot hit. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. And it says a lot about you that even when you're not at your best, they definitely were still in that game and able to win comfortably. Greg, the, they were better than the box score might indicate because they were solid in execution, more so than the stats would show. Lakers trail by eight. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Now it gets to Kobe. LeBron sets the screen for Kobe. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Fox, no good. I love the anticipation defensively there to get into the perfect spot. That is good. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. That sounds good. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Sacramento. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passes. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well. And, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. 
Kings were off to a hot start last year, but things certainly fell apart midway. A big factor in that was the messy firing of their coach, Mike Malone. Yeah, really, that firing came out of nowhere to the fans and the players, and seemed odd to fire a coach that has been leading his team to good basketball. Sacramento leading by three. Cousins with a screen on run. Here is Boomer, covered by LeBron. He had a nice open look right there. And it's eight points for Rudy Gay. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. Uh, yeah, that's a nice pass. I will give you that. Yeah, who's on the money, that's no doubt. Now here's James. He had 31 points in the win against Minnesota. Yeah, but I also thought the rebounding was impressive. He got some huge boards in that game. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Cousins with a screen on Bryant. He used that pick to get in close. And it's an eight-point Sacramento lead. Beautiful pick by the big man, Cousins. Now here's James. Outside, Davis. There's the dish to Howard. And the layup is good. Howard's got six points. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Clearly, they've been the aggressors thus far when it comes to attacking the interior in this first half. Here's Fox. Five points in the game. He in the corner. Again, Sacramento. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Lakers trail by eight. Outside Rondo. And there's the pass to Bryant. Fades back. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got three rebounds so far in the game. Right now, let's find out what head coach George Carl had to say to our Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, Kevin. When we talked about this game, he said his concern was how to handle Rajon Rondo. He said, quote, Rondo has no problem getting to the middle of defenses and finding open teammates. We have to make him become more of a jump shooter. Let's see if they can do just that. Thanks a lot, Doris. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. How much more is there to say about LeBron James, Clark? Uh, incredible consistency, unbelievable athleticism. Uh, he, he just is a marvel in every way right, the longer he Big plays. Breaks. Kevin, when Big you break. look at his career averages, I mean, just off the charts, and he has the same unbelievable year every year. Mm. Consistency, phenomenal. No good on that one. And talking about LeBron's consistency, it's not just a physical effort. It's also a mental one. I mean, you know you're targeted by the defense all game. That'll wear down even the best players. How is it that LeBron's armor just never seems to be penetrated? And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. That one is no good. You know, on the topic of LeBron, one of the few areas where he could improve consistency in is from the three-point line. Three years ago, he hit over 40% from downtown. Two years ago, 38. And last year, down to 35. Now, here's Collison. And now it's a double-digit lead. Collison's got his first points of the game. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Giving up too many open shots. I mean, that's what's happening here, Greg. They, they look to me to be a bit sluggish. Here's Smith. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Minnesota. Morris a screen. James kicks to Morris, fires the three. Good, and the assist goes to James. Morris has got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Brewer passes to Collison. Morris with the block. Rebound is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. 
Well, it always is, and it has been so far, and they've gotten a nice edge on the glass. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the plate. Smash mouth basketball. And, and Clark, it's a strategy that has served them well during the course of this first half. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Bradley's got the ball. Smith, no good. Sacramento leading by five. 153 left to play here in the first. The drive by Collison and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Man, you talk about a guy that's bounced around the league since he's been in it. Darren Collison. I mean, he's played on five different teams in his first six seasons and he's been a contributor and an impact player on all of them. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And taking a look back at his performance at the line a year ago, a rock solid 79%. And he can't get the first one. For Darren Collison, played a career high 35 minutes a game last year. Seemed to help him find his rhythm, Greg, on offense. And his coach had confidence in him, and boy, did he deliver. Unfortunately, though, Kevin, that hip injury shut him down after 45 games, but a positive season for him to build upon nonetheless. A strong season from Darren Collison cut short last year. Greg shut down at the end of last February. Yeah, he, he had that issue with his hip, and that kind of ended things for him in what had been a promising season. A shame since he was having the best of his career today. And here's Collison after LeBron James hitting the free. Miller against Collison. Pass with a screen for Collison. Passes to Bass. Shoots off the screen, and that one's good. Collison was having a career year last year, guys. I mean, 16 points a game was a career high for him, and he also shot more threes than ever before. Now, here is Miller. Morris outside. Pass to LeBron. James with another miss. And I think even in the injury shortened season, Collison showed he is still a starter in the NBA. Now, he's been used as a, a super sixth man in the past, but he's just as effective, I believe, at starting the game. And the shot is good. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Lakers trail by seven. James outside. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the first. Morris, left side. 11 feet away. It's hauled in by the Kings. Here is Collison. Pulls it up. No good on the buzzer beater. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Kings lead by seven the second quarter coming up right after this break so don't go anywhere chance to hear from LeBron James about the hard work and preparation he brings into every game. I go back and I'm able to, um, you know, read the scout report, you know, and, and also when I get to the arena, I also watch more film on, on each and every guy that's going to be playing. Um, guys that I know I may be, um, you know, matched up against, you know, throughout the night. So um, I'm not surprised by anything if it happens throughout the game. So um, it's a lot of preparation that goes in, you know, to just one game, just trying to get one win, but that's what it takes to end yeah. I think you'd have to say the preparation really shows on the court in his play, and rarely does he look surprised out there, caught off guard. And, and Kevin, that's really just the mark of a total pro. And, and I don't think oftentimes the fans appreciate how much goes in in terms of preparation. Some guys get it, and, and some guys don't. But but he's a perfect example of what proper preparation means in terms of preventing a poor performance. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. 
And for the Kings guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise? It's been about the effort. Love the hustle they've shown here in the first. Yeah, it's due to their hustle, as you said, Greg, and it's showing up on the scoreboard, too. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter, they've got Anthony Davis. Deion Waiters is out there with Rajon Rondo. Then there's Marquis Portis. And it's Green in at the small forward position. Cousins can't get it to go. And the Lakers take it the other way. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. And I believe what that game came down to was their ability to really knock down those triples. Yeah, I thought the work they did on the perimeter was excellent. It was just too much for that defense, or really any defense for that matter, to handle. Now here's Collison after Deion Waiters. Miss. And Davis sends it back. And they're able to recover. Cousins dishes to Collison. Screen by Cousins. The drive by Collison. Collison with another miss. And with room like that... Off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. Now, here is Morris. Morris with a screen on Collison. Outside, Davis for three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. They've led by as much as ten. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he shot the ball anything like he's capable of. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block, but that one's going to count. And some changes here for the Kings. Boomer, he's checked in for Parker. Then McLemore comes in for Corey Brewer. And it's Fox in for Darren Collison. The Lakers also with the sub. Howard's checked in. Now here's Rondo looking for his first basket still in this one. Green, the screen. Rondo with it on the wing. Green. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's Waiters. Los Angeles with another miss. Well, the defense is what did the Lakers season in last year, but their offense struggled at times as well. Clark, they just couldn't count on things night to night. Well, they were near the bottom of the league in most offensive categories, Kevin. Bottom five in field goal percentage and three-point percentage. The efficiency just wasn't there. Now, here is Howard. He had 13 points in the win against Minnesota. Yeah, but he set up shot at the free throw line. I mean, he just could not be defended out on the floor. Now, here's McLemore. Dwight Howard missing his last shot. Cousins inside, working on Howard. No good from Cousins. And with the Lakers and their lack of offense, sometimes teams can hide that by playing good defense, but the Lakers just really didn't have either. A lot of things working against them this past season. And here is Los Angeles now, following the miss by DeMarcus Cousins. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. You know, the Lakers often would get in trouble with slow starts to games because of their offense. I mean, at least they forced a league-high nine overtime games, going six and three in those contests, so the offense seemed to come alive late in games. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Rondo against Fox. Davis sets a screen. There's a good screen. Rondo kicks to Waiters. And again, the Lakers, no good. Sacramento leading by 10. Here's Fox. He's got five. That's short off the rim. Rondo against Dave. Outside Rondo. And it's going to be a three-second call. And looking now at some numbers for Rudy Gay. A very nice season for him last year. He was around 21 points per game. Six rebounds and three assists. He has been terrific throughout, putting up some huge numbers offensively. Yeah, you know, you just plug him in. He's a flat-out scoring machine. 
When you plug him up, let him go. And the Lakers making a change here. Lions checked in. Gay kicks to Cousins. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Lakers trail by 10. Outside Rondo dishes it to Howard. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Clark, that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And how about how he capped that one out almost like the one-two punch? Timeout called by the Kings. It was a trade that seemingly had been talked about for several years. Finally, last season, Boston shipping out Rajon Rondo to the Dallas Mavericks, Clark, halfway through the season. Yeah, and it seemed to me to be a trade that actually helped both teams. Kings leading now by eight. Feeds to Gay. There's a screen. Kicks to Cousins. The pass to Boomer. Just five on the clock. Tries it for 19. And once again off the mark by Sacramento. And for Rondo. And the trade, he was able to get out of a rebuilding situation in Boston. It immediately helped a playoff contender in Dallas that was looking for help at that point guard position. Now here is Davis following the shot by Rudy Gay. And I tell you what, it was a rough go of things there early on for Rondo in Dallas. And, and, you know, even for great players, it, it's always an adjustment when you go from a position of comfort to an completely new environment. And even though you, you're going to a better team, there's going to be some hemming and hawing in terms of your role and how you fit in. And he knocks down the first one. And guys, you know, we've talked about it before, but it bears repeating. Dwight Howard may be the best overall rebounder in the last decade. Five times out of the last eight years, He's led the league in rebounding. That's almost impossible to do in the modern NBA. And so he hits both. Howard is still Clark, an efficient rebounder, still prolific, in fact, but he's no longer down at last year. He had not one 20-plus rebound game. Tell me the last time that happened. Well, you know, this being Dwight's 12th season in the league, Kevin, a lot of wear and tear on him. And I think he's trying to fight through it, and he's still very much more than serviceable. He wants to get a ring, and he's doing his part to try to make that happen. Here's Rondo. Following the basket by DeMarcus Cousins. Outside Bryant. With the fadeaway. And he gets it to go. Kobe's got seven. Nice piece of work there. Get yourself a little space and pull the trigger. It's Gay with the drive. A pass to Fox. At the top of the key, Cousin. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Lakers trail by six. Outside Rondo. Down low. Knocked loose. And stolen by Cousin. McLemore with the ball. Picked up by Bryant. And the foul called on DeMarcus Cousins. That'll be his second foul of the game. Brandon Bass is checked in for the Kings. And the Lakers also making a switch. Andre Miller's checked in for Rajon Rondo. And the Lakers have possession. They trail by six. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Here's Kobe. And the Lakers with another miss. Sacramento's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Oh. I'll tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in. Aren't they have to build up the lead? And here we go, folks. It's showtime. That was a Kodak moment right there. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. Davis can't get it to go. So the Kings will take it the other way. Howard against Fox. Wants to get it to Gay and does. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. LeBron James third, fourth Anthony Davis.
Well, these two guys both were phenomenal last year, and either one would be a guy you want to make sure he gets the ball, especially late in a game that you want to win. Los Angeles on D. Eight point game. Soft touch on the glass. Seven points for Speedy. And that's sort of been the story here today, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got to be concerned with all the missed shots here. And every team goes through cold streaks. You just got to figure out a way to stay productive. And the best way to do that when you're missing shots is to get to the foul line. Be aggressive, get to the foul line, and knock down some of those freebies, and the tide can turn for you. And the Kings making a change here. Pachulia's checked in. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. Avery Bradley comes in for Green. Lakers trail by 10. And here is LeBron. He's got five. To the inside. Pachulia with the steal. Fox against LeBron. Here's Gabe. Ooh, he just chins it right over to White Howard. Oh, my goodness. Just floating to the rim on that slam. Boy, when he gets up, he gets up and stays Man, up. Man, you could clock his hang time with an hourglass. And there's the call on Pachulia. That's his first foul. And the Kings making a change here. Parker's checked in. Markeith Morris is checked in for the Lakers. Smith comes in for Bryant. Kings on D. Smith the pass to Miller. Fires the three. It's rebounded by McLemore. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. And no doubt the Lakers had some defensive issues last season. I mean, no true center on that roster. And at times, they were just feasted upon on the inside. Now here's James. To the middle. Here's Bradley. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, taking a look at Avery Bradley, his career's been kind of up and down. Greg started out in high school where he developed into one of the nation's top prospects in high school. You know, it's a great point. And as a college freshman, really established himself as one of the top defensive guards in the country. Won numerous awards, then enters the draft after only one year. You know, with Avery Bradley, he was the 19th pick in the draft for the Celtics. The outlook for him was great, but then ball handling and shooting injury concerns flattened out his development. He had a hard time getting over the hump for a few years, but he's over it now. Corey Brewer's checked in for the Kings. Collison comes in for Fox. And, 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 you know, getting back to Avery Bradley, he's been dynamite the last two years. He's finally found consistency with the mid-range jumper and, and plays a complete game of basketball. With just a little more seasoning, I really feel like the sky's the limit. And the Lakers have possession. The Kings getting the bucket. Morris a screen. It's LeBron with the drive. And he dunks it after the pick frees him up. And it was the screen there, guys, that freed him up as he ran his man into it. And then it was all acceleration, G.A., to the bucket right after that. Almost a backboard breaker. Bass can't get it to go. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Darren Collison pulls it in. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in control of this game. And, and no doubt about it, rebounding is an effort stat, folks. They've been more determined than their opponent thus far. Now, here's Bradley. Nine points, last game out. There's the feed to Smith. No good from outside. Kings leading now by 13. Collison with it. Now Smith defending. And the rejection by James. Smith drives in. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jabari Parker. That's his first foul. And, and you can see he just foul. didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge. But I think the official got that one right. James against Bass. 
Count that one in the Sacramento lead has been cut to just 11 on the basket from LeBron. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Now, here's Collison. He's got five. There's the screen. He dishes it to Pachulia. Sacramento again missing. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Gets it down to single digits. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes. It. Yeah, he is so fun to watch and how he attacks the rim at full speed like that, man. It's, uh, it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim. And Zaja Pachulia, for my money, has been one of the toughest players in the league. He's got a boxer's mentality. Even his face looks a little bit like a boxer's. He doesn't have the quick twitch muscles of some guys, but his power and effort consistently stand out. Lakers trail by 11. LeBron dishes to Miller. Screen by Smith. Miller with the ball. Picked up by Collison. The drive by James. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two-hand. Talking about Jaja's toughness, it's one of the reasons he has such a high rebounds per minute average over his career. And defending on the blocks, he's almost unmovable. <laughs> you know, a coach kid loves Jaja. He even started him over John Henson by the end of the season. And he's always willing to trade body blows down low and, and certainly wins his fair share of those battles. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Now LeBron. He's got 11. Miller outside. Morris with the screen for Miller. Four on the clock. The three. It's holding by Collison. From deep. No good on that last second attempt there. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. The Kings on top, leading by nine. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline. Doris? Kobe, what encourages you in what you've seen from the team's offense? You know, we're playing hard. You know, our bigs are really working tonight. You know, they're really running the floor well. You know, they're rolling to the basket with a purpose. Kobe, appreciate the time as always. Gentlemen? Thank you, Doris. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We welcome you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Rudy Gay has been getting it done. He had 16 points and one steal. After missing last game, it was clearly evident he wanted to make his mark tonight. Shaq, how did you think the Kings were playing? What stood out to me more than anything else was how hard they got after it on the offensive glass. They were keeping possessions alive and converting those rebounds into points. Take away those extra points, they're not in this position, Ernie. And over to Kenny, your takeaway on the Lakers. Their three-point shooters struggle to get into a rhythm. It's a mental thing. You start clanking them, and your teammates start. It's contagious. Now, percentage-wise, shooting in the low 30s, it's not horrific, but it's not great. And they have to improve their accuracy from deep in the second half, or they're going to have a hard time coming back. 